All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem two to the power of 101 minus two to the power of 100. So to solve this problem, I'm gonna first start by rewriting two to the power of 101 as two to the power of 100 plus one. Now, the reason I did that is because now I can use this property that states that if I have something from a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 100 plus 1 is going to equal 2 to the power of 100 times 2 to the power of 1. And now I have this minus 2 to the power of 100. Now from here, I can factor out two to the power of 100. So I get two to the power of 100 times two to the power of one minus one. Now two to the power of one is equal to two and two minus one is one. So I'm left with two to the power of 100 times one, which is equal to two to the power of 100. Now, there is actually another method of solving this problem. So going back to the problem, I have two to the power of 101 minus two to the power of 100. Now, before I rewrote 101 as 100 plus one, but how about I rewrite 100 as 101 minus one? So now I get two to the power of 101 minus two to the power of 101 minus one. And this is the same thing as two to the power of 101 minus two to the power of 100 and one plus negative one. Now, if I use that property again, that states that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n, I get two to the power of 101 minus 2 to the power of 101 times 2 to the power of negative 1. And now if I factor out 2 to the power of 101, I get 2 to the power of 101 times 1 minus 2 to the power of negative 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 101 times 1 half, which is equal to 2 to the power of 101 times 2 to the power of negative 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 100. So that's the second method of solving this problem. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation x to the power of x to the power of four is equal to 64. So the variable I wanna find the value to in this equation is x. And for my solution, I'm gonna first start by taking the power of four on both sides. So I get x to the power of x to the power of four to the power of four is equal to 64 to the power of four. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. However, m and n are interchangeable, meaning this can also be written as a to the power of n to the times m. Now, if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m, this should be equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4. In this, I can think of x to the power of 4 as m and 4 as n. So this turns into x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now 64 to the power of 4 I can rewrite as 8 squared to the power of 4, which turns into 8 to the power of 8. Now if I have something from a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a equals b. So in this case, x to the power of 4 is equal to 8. And to solve for x, I'm going to take the fourth root on both sides. So I get x is equal to positive or negative fourth root of 8.